Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Model Works. I'm not really making an update video on my funny car build. Uh, this is just more of an up close look at the motor uh, and some of the stuff that I've done on it. And of course, this isn't everything that I will be doing to it, but this is just my progress on the detail work up to now. Um, so I I know that uh, you know when I was new into the modeling. Uh, you know, model car building and stuff like that. Um, I always wanted to see how people built their motors, you know, when I was trying to learn how to detail a motor. Of course, I never could do anything like, you know, this detailed when I first started. But I did want to see how people painted it and where people ran lines, you know, um, how they did their uh, spark plug wires. That's usually, you know, the first detail up thing that anybody does uh, before they get into super detailing or anything like that. So I wanted to make this video so that some of you guys could see this motor up close and if you know you're trying to get ideas or wanting to see how somebody builds their motors then this will be a good up close view for you to see that. Um, and you know maybe I'll try and do this with all of my builds or some of the builds that I you know do some detail work to or whatever it may be I'll try to do these up close motor views for you guys so you can see what's going on. So anyway, first of all though, uh, let me just show you guys kind of what I've got going on on this motor here. Um, you can see uh, right here on the front, this is the fuel pump. Um, I have not ran any lines from the fuel pump up here, uh, you know, to the rest of the fuel lines or anything like that. Um, I still have to do that. Uh, there is the belt um, uh, from Protec the aluminum pulleys and everything um, and of course in this view you can really see these little uh, you know bolt heads that I've put on there um, to add some detail uh, and then if I turn this to the side there we go you can see here that I've got the fuel lines running back to the fuel blocks uh, and it's to the upper and lower fuel block there. Um, and then of course I'll have two lines running down uh, to the fuel pump uh, once I get those put on. And then down here I have the oil lines. Here's the oil manifold. And then I have the upper line um, and the lower line running. And these are uh, uh, braided lines by Protec and, <clears throat> excuse me, and then the fittings and everything. Uh, I painted, uh, if you look back in some of my, well, a couple videos ago, I think I have a video um, that show you guys how to paint your uh, fittings to look like these red and blue anodized fittings. Um, that's just that same process, and these are actually some of the fittings that I painted in that video uh, that I'm using on this build. Uh, I got my spark plug wires, uh, and then I um, have my oil breather. Uh, I used aluminum plate metalizer uh, on the uh, hat here, the intake hat, on the valve covers, and then of course I used it down here also on my oil pan. Um, what's really cool is you can polish that out and it gives it a really nice shine. So now let me show you the back. Okay, here is the bell housing uh, with, those, um, oop, with those nuts all around the edges. And then I have my um, f upper fuel block and my lower fuel block uh, attached to the back there. And you can see, uh, you know how those are ran. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's late. It's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm making this video and I just, I can't sleep. So I'm making a video. Um, and then here's the other side, pretty much the same. Uh, you can see here a little bit better the um, uh, oh the spark plug. Man, it's late. My brain's not working. Uh, but you've got your your spark plugs, your ignition coil. Um, man, I cannot think of what this thing is called right now. Uh, but anyway, you have my spark plug wires, the looms, and everything running there. Uh, so you can see that. Um, and then I will show you the bottom of this. Let's see here. Uh, 
There we go. I have to hold this with my hand. Um, and I've got the bolts running around the uh, oil pan, and then a bolt on the back here to simulate the uh, drain plug. Uh, that's just right back there. And that's pretty much the motor. Um, you know, I'm still going to be doing more uh, detailing to this um, to, you know, completely dress it up. Not a whole lot. I mean, I'm, you know, there's not just a ton more left to do, but I still have a few other things to do. But hopefully this will give some of you guys who, you know, are either building a funny car or something with, you know, this type of motor in it, uh, just a little inside look at uh, what one might look like. Um, you know, not everything on here may be perfectly accurate. Uh, this is just my interpretation of the motor and, um, you know, just how it turns out. So anyway, um, that is a close-up look at the uh, Duster Mongoose Funny Car Motor. Uh, I may try to do this again once I get more detail on it. And uh, until my next update video, I will talk to you all later.